Hey guys, the objective for this video is to determine the shear center of a section. So let's have a look at our question here. We've got a section quite similar to an I-beam here. Although the weight isn't placed in the center of our flanges, it's offset um, to the left slightly. And we've got a shear force that's been applied um, to our section, um, actually a force that's been applied to our section of 100 kilonewtons. So what we need to do is we need to indicate the shear flow pattern and calculate the horizontal shear force. And we also need to locate the shear centers. The first thing we'll do is we'll indicate the shear flow pattern. So if we have a look at our section here. The uh, shear flow is going to start um, from the edges of our top flange here, moving into the center to the web, then down um, the web, and then from the web to the edges of our bottom flange there, like that. Now what we want to do now is we want to work out what the horizontal um, shear force is in our section. So we're going to be considering the top flange and the bottom flange because that's where the horizontal shear force is going to be produced. Um, to do that, we're first going to need to work out what the second moment of area is for our entire section because uh, Q, which is the shear flow, is equal to the shear force multiplied by the first moment of area divided by the second moment of area. So we need the entire second moment of area for our section. Now, we've, because we've got um, a